to this uh, breaking news now. The SABC has just confirmed that the disgraced uh, former Steinhoff uh, CEO, Marcus Euster, has died. And Zeppo Mongwai, SABC News Economics Editor, uh, joins us live. Zeppo, a very good afternoon to you. Please confirm the news. What can you tell us about the death of Mr. Youth, uh, Euster at this stage? Well, what we know at the moment is that um, it looks like he might have committed suicide based on the information that we've just received uh, from uh, some of our sources in, 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 in the Western Cape. Um, it's something that um, happened probably today. Um, it, but the information is still sketchy because at the moment not even the police can actually um, tell us anything. Uh, but um, it, it's something that indeed has happened, um, and, and, and clearly there's been a lot of pressure mounting uh, as, uh, on some of the um, you know issues that Marcus Ma Schuster was involved in. Remember, um, yesterday the Financial Sector Conduct Authority said that uh, the matter which involved him inflating or mis stating some of the uh, financial statements uh, involving uh, Steinhoff, uh, where some of the investors actually acted on very much misleading information. Mm -hmm. And they said that the, the Hawks were going to uh, investigate this further. Uh, and they also indicated that uh, they were quite disappointed with uh, Mr. Joster because he uh, did not cooperate with the Financial Sector Conduct Authority. And uh, you'd also remember that his former uh, European um, Financial Director, uh, Schreiber, also came in for leniency uh, and he divulged a lot of information. And, and uh, one would think that um, and all that put um, just in the corner, and he realized that uh, there's no way out. Um, uh, the, the, the statement released by the Financial Sector Conduct Authority also further indicate that uh, Mr. Juster actually denied any wrongdoing on his side. Mm. Uh, and one was actually anticipating that uh, he was going to stage another uh, legal battle uh, to challenge this. Uh, but clearly, I think he, he was running uh, out of options. Uh, uh, in terms of challenging this, uh, it was becoming very, very clear uh, that he had a serious, serious uh, uh, case to answer. Mm, look, Tapo, let's, let's backtrack a little bit. We know that, of course, uh, Marcus still had an outstanding 20 million rand fine for that insider trading that was still, uh, that had still not been settled. And a lot of his victims, uh, of course, have shared their displeasure as well as lack of hope for compensation. I mean, the 19th of April, which is the date that was set uh, for Eusta to pay back the money. Uh, do you think it was even feasible or possible to pay back such a fine in, in, in light of what you said? I mean, he said uh, he had no wrongdoing in this matter. Well, um, based on the investigation of the Financial Sector Conduct Authority, when you read their report, you almost get a sense that they, they strongly believe that they're dealing uh, with someone with a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. uh, with a lot of money, um, given the amount of money that uh, he was paid. Remember, the incentive for him to inflate the financial performance of Steinhoff was so that he can receive bonuses that runs into millions and millions of, of, of rent and, and euros. Uh, and, and they were quite uh, sure that there is some of the investments uh, that uh, he, has, he had made that he did not want to divulge. Uh, and, and in fact, they made it very clear that they had asked and they tried to find out about some of the investment that he had made from this windfall of uh, performance bonuses that he had received. Mm -hmm. And they could not get a clear indication as to where is, is this money. And their 475 million rand fine, they, they, it was imposed because they believed that um, he still had a lot of money and a lot of investment somewhere else that will afford him uh, to be able to somehow pay the, the fine.
Mm. And Zepo, I mean, what happens now in this case? I mean, we're still trying to ascertain the details around the death uh, of Mr. Yusuf, which, of course, we will be bringing uh, to our viewers. But, I mean, a lot of people were saying, even with the 475 million rand fine, they were still expecting a legal battle. So what should happen now? What could possibly happen uh, with the death of Mr. Yusuf? Well, remember, the, uh, I mean, all over the world, pension fund individuals in South Africa and elsewhere that have lost millions or uh, billions of, 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 of rand and, and U.S. dollars uh, because of, of this. Uh, they, they, they were those who were pursuing him, uh, hoping that they would be able to, to, to get something. But... It is clearly going to be very, very difficult, and I'm sure some of them have really made peace with the fact that they are uh, likely to recover uh, some of the of the investments that they, that they had made. You know, the, the, this is the reality of 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 of, of capitalism, the reality of the system uh, that indeed trust can be uh, put in in the hands of an individual with so much power. Uh, and is given these resources to make decisions, and often you know people can actually t take decisions that are serve them or are in their own interest, so that they can generate much more money for themselves. Mm. Um, and 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 reality is, of course, those who have lost. It's unlikely that they will ever be able to recover the money, and the fact that he took his life—it's uh, it, an indication that he did not have any other options. He realized that he could not challenge this. He probably did not have the means uh, to, to 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 pay the fines, but not only the fines, but also many other people all over the world who had lost. Uh, they are life savings uh, because of his self-serving uh, and self-interest. All right, Zeppo, we're going to leave it there. Remember, we are still trying to get uh, the details surrounding the circumstances of the death of Mr. Marcus yesterday. We are trying to get hold of those various uh, authorities who will also give us an update as to uh, what actually happened there. Speculation is rife that uh, Mr. Yester actually took his own life, but this is not confirmed at this stage. We will be uh, giving you that information as soon as it becomes available to us. That was Zepo Mongwai, the SABC News Economics Editor.